Okay, Bolo Buddies, I have another exclusive offer for my followers. This is going to be over on Whatnot. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I had my first show on Whatnot for Snapback Hats, and I'm starting to do more themed shows, but... I've never done snapback hats. So it was pretty cool. It went pretty good. I sold 57 hats. Right here is what didn't sell. Now, I told you guys that I was gonna do special offers over on Whatnot, and I haven't done one for a while. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you the hats, and I'm gonna make a big bundle, and I'm gonna put them over on Whatnot in the Buy It Now section. I am gonna release it tonight on my buy it now, it'll be up in my buy it now on whatnot at, let's go with 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So this lot is gonna be available. I'm gonna see how many hats are here. At the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you how much it's gonna be. It's gonna be a good price. And some of the ones that got passed on, I can't believe they got passed on. But uh, there was only probably, I would say around 20, people there watching, uh, lots of views, but uh, 57 items sold. So I'm really excited about that. So if you're not on Whatnot, go down to the description. There's a link. You can get $15 to shop with, you, with that referral link. So if you've not joined Whatnot, guess what? You can apply that towards this purchase. Um, the other thing, um, I did find out some people were saying that they weren't getting their $15. You have to put your phone number in to get the $15 because they don't want people creating duplicate accounts to get the $15 over and over and over again. I think that's why they need you to like verify that you have one account. So make sure you put your phone number in. All right, let's look at the hats that didn't sell. I'm going to make one big bundle and this is going to be available at 9.30 PM Eastern Standard Time tonight on Whatnot. All right, are you ready? Let's look at the hats. The first item I'm going to show you is, and I'm going to give you some tips throughout the video also about some of the things I know about snapback hats. Not a lot, but some. And I do have a video on snapback hats. But one thing I do know is K Products is an awesome brand. If you see K Products, look it up. This is a K Products seed hat, Pioneer seed hat. I had this $5. I was offering this for $5. It's corduroy and it got a pass. Now, it's not in the best condition, so I kind of get it. Uh, it's missing all of the foam on the inside, but I still think that was a really good deal. Somebody probably could have take, taken the patch off and sold that, and a lot of people repurpose the little snaps. Now, one thing you want to do when you're selling hats, you want to check the snap, snap, the, yeah, the snap, and make sure that it doesn't break when you bend it, you also want to check the bill, okay? A lot of times, there was one in the video, and it literally, I wonder if it's in here. It might be in here. It literally cracked when I checked when I checked the bill. So you want to make sure that this isn't deteriorating on the inside. You also want to disclose if the foam is missing, all right? Those are important things to put in your listing if you're listing these items on eBay. Show any discolorations, any defects. Take lots of photos, so there is, look, you could see the foam still coming out. So this is not a perfect hat, but this is still a sellable hat for sure. I'm not gonna talk about each one that much. Uh, this one right here is a uh, Constitution Supply Company. It is a mesh hat. Another thing to look for when you're looking for snapback hats is the mesh hat. I had somebody specifically come in and ask if I had any trucker hats that had mesh which I had a bunch of them and they all pretty much sold. I don't know why this one didn't sell. It is USA made, it is vintage. It is, do you see it falling, making a mess all over my table? See the foam is deteriorating. That's okay, it can still sell. Uh, Chernox Connection on uh, YouTube, I will pop up a screenshot right here. He has a video that tells you how to make a replacement for the inside of your hat to replace that foam, okay? So check out his video on that. I think he also has a tutorial on how to clean and wash hats. So you're gonna get all of these hats in one bundle. 
This one says high school jock and it's a snapback. Uh, it does have a stain on the top. I said just put a pin over it. Um, I was joking with Rummage Raiders because they sell pins over on Whatnot. And I'm like, just go over to Rummage Raiders and buy one of their fun little pins and just place it on top of that. But it might come out with a wash. I have no idea. This is just Stephen Berry, so it's more of a novelty hat. Most of the items that I sold today were vintage, but there is a mixture. Now, here's another one. I've got this one. In, it's a mess. This one, you're going to want to leave in the plastic because there is foam everywhere. Um, when I say foam everywhere, I mean it is totally deteriorating, but it is another K products. I'm going to put it back in the bag. Really, besides the foam, it's in pretty good condition. So if you go to sell this, I would shake out all of that foam and I would just sell it. Um, the bill is good. So I, I went like this on every item and you guys can watch the replay of the sale to see what I sold the hats for on whatnot. Would I have made more money selling these items on eBay? Absolutely, but I don't have time. I don't have time, so I'm bringing them to whatnot. So if you guys are not following me on whatnot, definitely give me a follow. Um, all of the hats started at $2 today, except for the green hat. The first one I showed you, I did at five. Everything else, $2 starts. This one says Car Quest Auto Parts. And this is the one that if the foam is deteriorating, but besides that, it's K products and in really nice condition. This is a Chevrolet 100,000 mile club. Great looking hat. You're going to get that. This one is a Young's RV Center from Ohio. Foam looks great. A lot of these look like they've never been worn. Uh, a lot of the ones that were left were towards the end of the show when less people were still at the show. So there's still a lot of really great hats in here. This one is multi-plastics. And here it is. This one is um, made in the Philippines. Again, I don't even know if it's ever been worn. This one is a hot mess. Now, it's really cool because it says Babe Ruth on it, but it's deteriorating on the inside and the label, the patch or whatever it is, is starting to come off. So it is from 1986 and it's really cool. It's a baseball hat, but condition is bad. I even said, I don't think I would buy this one. <laughs> Marine Towing Ink. That's this one. This is another vintage snapback hat made in Sri Lanka. Padding is all there. Uh, dependable transportation, snapback hat, looks great. Uh, made in Bangladesh, and it's got that tag on it. Again, it looks really good. These are definitely sellable hats. So I am doing this as, oh, here's the one. Okay, so here's a teachable moment. If you bend it, and it is, listen, ready? It, now, this is gratifying, satisfying. I don't know what the right word is, but oh my goodness. Listen, are you ready? It's like pop and bubble wrap. You hear it? Oh, it's so fun. It's just all deteriorated in there. You can hear it snapping. I'm making a mess. But anyway, um, I'm going to put this one in there just because it is a pro fit made in the USA one size. And somebody may need a replacement band for their um, another hat that they have but it is deteriorating up inside. That's what it looks like. But the that's just for a replacement part on that one. I don't know what micro cat is. Micro cat. Here it is. This is a hook and loop and it's by Toppers. So this is probably more of a modern hat. You guys, there's so many hats in here. All right, let's try to do this quicker. Here's an old um, Masonic hat. Condition is okay. You could take the patch off, sell the patch. It is, uh, I don't see any markings on this one. So that one's going to go in there. This one is a Hatchet Man Sport Fishing. And I sold a whole bunch of these in different colors. It's white. It's by Odo. It's an Odo cap made in Thailand. It does have a little dirt stain right there. So you're going to want to pre-treat that probably. But I have checked all the bills on these and all the snaps during the show. And you can watch the replay back on my live shows. I think I'm going to leave this one up so you guys can kind of get an idea of what it's like to sell on whatnot. 
If you're thinking about selling on whatnot, I do have a referral link down below. After you join and get the $15 to shop, go back and join with my selling link and that's gonna tell whatnot that I referred you, okay? So definitely do that. Let me know if you have any questions. North Fork Deer Processing. This one is all foam on the inside. The foam looks pretty good. Um, this one says, I don't know, it's got a couple tags on it. Made in Taiwan. So you're going to get that one. You're going to get Matthews Ford. And this is also made in Bangladesh. And it's got the rope on the front. So that would be another keyword that you could use if you list these. And do I know that I'm crazy doing this and that I'm selling these really cheap? Yes. And that's okay because I appreciate all of you watching. Headliner. This is a headliner and it's in pretty good condition. It's an Owens Corning hat. Now, some of these like Owens Corning. This is um, a local, I don't even know if they're still in business. This is probably going to take the right buyer. This may be more long tail. And you guys can look these up. I'm not going to post the video or post the box until 930 on whatnot. So look for that at 930. This says Stone Products. And this one is by Cobra. It still has the original thing inside of it. And I don't know if that one's vintage or not. This one says Ohio Auto Auction. So here it is. This one is by Casey, made in the Philippines. Again, I'm not sure if it was ever worn. Great hat. This one is Van Way or Van Y, sand and gravel. It's got the rope. Everything looks good on the inside. Again, probably never even worn. Ohio Alapa, Alupa, something like that. So you're going to get that one. And we'll do a count when I'm done here. Now, this one is in, I don't even know if I want to include this one. I'm not going to include that one. That one's pretty much, I don't think I even showed that one. This one, okay. Again, you can see I'm going to have this one in a bag, but it is um, made in the USA and it's an NRA hat. I'll show you in just a second. So some people collect NRA. So you're just going to have to go outside, shake it out, clean it up, and then just disclose in your eBay listing that it doesn't have the foam. Um, this one here is a Team Dow. It's a yellow hat. It's by Capital. It's vintage. And you guys, I'm going to show you the best I can right now. I'm trying to do this quick. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it. Um, this one is Nork 60th anniversary. It's got the, who is that guy? I just forgot who he is. Oh, that guy right there. I can't think of who he is. Another Owens Corning hat. This one has this type of strap and there is your tag on the inside. So again, use that link down below, get $15 to shop. It's my referral link. And this will be available on whatnot at 930. Uh, satisf satisfaction pays team challenge. This one is made in Bangladesh. And again, does not look like it's been worn. Everything looks good on the inside. Conditions vary from pre-owned to new old stock. I have two of these. They are MPW, new old stock hats. They are vintage, uh, made, in, made in the USA by Graffiti, if you want to look them up. This one here is Farmer's Town Meats Better Than Ever, and it's got the awesome mesh back. This one is made in China, but it looks vintage. The mesh is good. And let's see. This one is another one that is the foam is falling out. It is by Made in the USA on the strap. So you may want to use the strap. That's that one. I don't know what it says. It says a new adventure uh, sport craft. Sport craft. Now this one I cannot believe did not sell. Now this may be an older hat with a newer patch. It says modern. Why does that look backwards? Does that? That is so funny. I'm, did I mess something up on my camera? Anyway, it says modern, M-O-D-E-R-N. But this is another K Products hat, you guys. And it's good. It's good to go. There's the inside. 
It is all mesh, all mesh K products made in the USA. Bam. So that one's going to be in there as well. And this one is also uh, has foam. It says made in the USA and it says safety, quality, productivity. And I thought maybe somebody would want to take the patch off of this one. So that is a um, kind of crafters one as well. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 hats. So let's do, let me make sure there's none on the floor here. Now you are going to have to pay shipping. So I'm going to get these all packaged in a box. 30 hats. Let's do... Let's do $40, $40 for 30 hats. And you guys just saw them all. Conditions vary. So watch the video again if you need to. 30 hats for $40, buyer pay shipping. This will be on my whatnot at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. Look for the listing. It should be at the top. And it'll be in the buy it now section and it'll be whoever gets it first gets it. So I think that is a stellar deal for a reseller. So good luck. Go down, join my whatnot right now. Get your $15 to shop so that you can buy this bundle. All right. Thank you guys so much for being here. I have a build a bear whatnot show tomorrow at 10 28 a.m. I have a hair accessories like with bling and cool different hair accessories on Friday morning. Friday night is going to be jewelry. So I hope to see you at those shows. I will link those in the description as well for you guys to bookmark. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.